Hello everyone, welcome to iExamB. In this video, we will talk about a very important topic which is the Kurno model of oligopoly which is very important for the RBI grade B DBR examination. In this video, we will discuss what the Kurno model is and we will solve a numerical on the same. Also, also watch the video till the end for a very interesting shortcut trick to solve this video in just five seconds. So let's start. What exactly is a Kurno model? A Kurno model is a form of an oligopoly model. So in the oligopoly model, there are few sellers in the market. It's a kind of market structure where few sellers come together in the market and they could either determine output or prices in order to maximize profits. But in the Kurno model, the few sellers which come together in the market determine the output simultaneously. So this is the major deciding factor of a Kurno model. And also, while determining the output, each firm assume that output produced by the other firm is constant. It is not changing. So, on the basis of what the other firm is producing, I will produce a certain quantity in order to maximize my profits. So, if let's say there are two firms, one and two, and two is producing a certain level of quantity, which is Q2, in order to maximize its profit. So, one will make its decision keeping Q2, the quantity produced by the firm 2, as constant what it is going to produce in the market. And so in this fashion, each firm here is determining its own best response or the reaction curve. So the intersection of these reaction curves determine the output simultaneously. So if let's say here we have Q1 and Q2 plane and uh, let's say these are the reaction curves of both the individuals. Okay, uh, BR1 and BR2. So the point at which these reaction curves intersect, this particular point, okay, this is the equilibrium point and corresponding to this point this much Q1 and this is Q2 these quantities are being produced. So the equilibrium in this Kurno solution this particular point is also known as the Nash equilibrium of the game. Now let's solve a numerical problem on this particular model. So here we have two firms in the market and they follow the Kurno model. So that means they are making output decisions. The demand curve faced by them is given as Q equals to 90 minus P and the marginal cost of producing the good is same for both, that is rupees 15. Marginal cost is same, which is 15. Demand curve is Q equals to 90 minus P. You have to calculate the total quantity. So the total quantity produced by both the firms together in the Kurno setup for profit maximization. Okay. So to solve such questions, how we proceed is that we will derive the profit function for both the firms and we will maximize profits. So for profit maximization, the condition required is that the marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. This is the profit maximization condition. At this particular point, uh, both the firms are maximizing the profits and corresponding to this point gives the quantity produced by each of the firms. So let's do it. So first, we are given this Q equals to 90 minus P. This is the demand function. So corresponding to this, the inverse demand function will be P equals to 90 minus Q. Now, from here, we can 
formulate the total revenue so total revenue is price times quantity so total revenue function for firm 1 would be 90 minus q times q1 this will give us the total revenue for firm 1 which is also equal to 90 minus q1 plus q2 this is the total quantity times q1 so this is equal to 90 q1 minus q1 squared minus q2 q1 from here the marginal revenue would be 90 minus 2 q1 minus q2 and we know that marginal cost is given to be 15 so equate this 90 minus 2 q1 minus q2 is equal to 15 from here we can derive the quantity for the firm 1 which is equal to 75 minus q2 by 2 and this is also the best response of firm 1 this was for firm 1 now similarly for firm 2 we can derive the best response so total revenue for firm 2 would be 90 minus q times q2 which is equal to 90 minus q1 plus q2 times q2 and this will be equal to 90 q2 minus q1 q2 minus q2 squared also the marginal revenue for firm 2 would be 90 minus q1 to minus 2 q2 now equating this with the marginal cost we get 90 minus q1 minus 2 q2 is equal to 15 so this gives us q2 equals to 75 minus q1 by 2 so this is the best response of firm 2 and here we had the best response function for firm 1 now in order to find out the profit maximizing quantities Q1 and Q2, we put the value of Q2 in this particular equation to find out Q1. So let's do this. So Q1 is equal to 75 minus 75 minus Q1 by 2 upon 2. Now this, this will give you 150 minus 75 plus q1 by 4 so this is equal to 75 plus q1 by 4 so 4 q1 is equal to 75 plus q1 and therefore 3 q1 is equal to 75 q1 is equal to 75 upon 3 which is equal to 25 units so this is the quantity produced by firm 1. Now put this value of 25 in the best response function for Q2. So Q2 we derived was equal to 75 minus Q1 by 2. So now putting this here we have 75 minus 25 by 2 which is equal to 50 by 2 which is again equal to 25. So both the firms are producing 25 units each for profit maximization. So the total quantity produced would be Q1 plus Q2 which is equal to 50 units. This is what you had to find out in this particular question. That the total output produced by the firms in the Kurno setup. Now, as I promised for a shortcut trick at the beginning of this video, there is a very quick shortcut trick to solve such questions all you need to know is that you need to remember a particular formula which is given by qi is equal to 1 by 3 times a minus c this is the formula to derive quantities produced by firms in a kuno setup so here a is the intercept term and c is the 
marginal cost of producing each unit of the commodity. So, here Q1 would be 1 upon 3 and A. From the demand function, we know that Q is equal to 90 minus P. And the inverse demand function was P is equal to 90 minus Q. So, from, from here, we know that the intercept term is 90. So, this will be 90 minus marginal cost was given to be 15 units. So, this is 90 minus 15, which is 75 upon 3, which is equal to 25. And similarly, you can get Q2 for the second form, which would be 25. So, the total quantity would be 25 plus 25, which is equal to 50 units. So, in just two steps, we can get the total quantity produced by each firm. All you need to know is you have to remember this particular formula. Hope you liked this uh, shortcut trick. And for any kind of further guidance, you can visit the iExam B website. We offer a comprehensive course for the RBI grade B DEPR examination. Here we have regular classes covering all the important topics for uh, phase 1, discussion based and it covers numericals also. We also provide approximately 1500 MCQs with detailed solutions. So there are 10 mock tests uh, of 62 questions each. So these are about 600 and 20 questions. Also, there are 10 section tests covering approximately 500 numericals based questions. And further, there are chapter tests focusing on concepts and other areas. So these are about another 500 approximately questions. So a total of 50 300 MCQs you will get in the course with detailed solutions and chapter tests and concept check questions under each video. If you are interested, right now we are offering a flat 50% off on the online course. You can use RBI 50 code to avail this particular offer and for any other inquiry or any other help, you can either visit the website or you can even mail us at hello at the rate iexambi.com or you can even contact on this particular number. Thank you.